Hello guys, this is the part 2 of my ZZCAD AutoCAD tutorial. The part 1 will be dropped in the description. The link for the part 1 will be dropped in the description. So if you've not watched it yet, click on the link and watch the video if you're a new AutoCAD learner. To get a better understanding of this tutorial, thank you very much. And please, if you know you've not subscribed, please click on the subscription and turn on your notifications so that you'll be notified anytime I drop any new video. Thank you. So in this tutorial, we'll be drawing a 2D one-bedroom self-contained house. So to start, to start drawing, we first check the units. So to check the units, we type UN, then press enter. So our units here are in millimeters, so we're drawing in millimeters. You can change the units if you want, but for me, I like to use the millimeters. So we go with the millimeters, and the millimeters is is, is, the, is the unit that has been accepted because it has high level of accuracy so we start by inserting our layers so we click on the layers icon then we click on this little icon here with the sun beside it or you press alt plus n on the keyboard so we click to add a new layer so our first layer of walls Then you change the color. You give it a very bright color. Fight against the white paper. Press OK. Then we add another layer, which is doors. And you give it another color. Let's make it um, dark green. Then windows. You can add more layers, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm using just three layers. This is the walls, the doors, and the windows. You can add text, you can add dimensions, you can add materials, you can add furniture. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just maintain this story for now. Now we are starting the drawing. We click on the drop down menu here and we select our walls. So we are zoom the living room to be of the dimensions 4000 by 5000 millimeters so we go to our polyline click it doesn't matter the part of the working area you draw just click then type 4000 or well, let's make this side 5000 enter It's very small, just scroll out and go to the top, 4000. Put a cursor here to get a straight line, but you can still type 5000 here. Enter. And you either click on your final point or you just type C to close the Close the rectangle. Okay. So we have a rectangle over here. So to give this a wall, because we assume the wall has thickness, so we offset this by 150 degrees. So we assume the wall has thickness of 150 millimeters. So we type offset. Enter. And we type the 150 millimeters press enter again then we offset this wall by 150 millimeters so it means the distance from here to here is 150 so after the command type press escape on the keyboard so this is 
a 5,000 by 4,000 living room. And bring a kitchen here. Fully line it. Then trace this line here until we get this cross sign. And if yours doesn't appear, if this cross sign doesn't appear, then you have to. I have to come to this snap mode. This drop down menu here, then click on snap set and you come to object snap. So you turn on the insertion, you can turn on your nearest point, you can turn on everything. But for me, I'll just maintain these ones for now. Yeah, the most important ones are the end points, the midpoint, the center, the section. Parallel. Parallel is also important. Apparent intersection. Nearest. No, I won't use nearest for this tutorial. So I'll just maintain these ones for now. Then I press OK. So polyline, either click on polyline here or you type PL. So we add the kitchen here. The kitchen is very small. I need a kitchen great album. by four thousand. Looks it here. Press enter. Then we offset this one. Now we have our living in that kitchen. So we are left with a bedroom and a washroom. So I like to make my bedroom 4,000 by 4,000. Four meters by four meters. Okay, four meters. I cross. Then I offset outside. So we have a kitchen, living room, then here will be the bedroom. So you have to add a washroom. Okay. So polyline again. Okay. Click on this point. Let me clear this line. So polyline. You click here. So the last thing, because we want our building to be in a square, in a square form, in a form of square. Offset 
here. Press S. Then we join these lines together. Offsets. We can have this side as our bedroom for this bedroom. Then this side will be an entrance to the washroom. And this side will be this side can be the dining area, then this side will be the washroom for put this bedroom and for guests as well. So to extend this line to meet this line here, just type extend ex enter. So it extends. I can extend it to make the side of washroom also. What we want to do is we want to get rid of this line these two lines over here so we use the trim command so we type cr trim press enter here and here then here and here trim all the lines 